If you were to ask any 3D artist about their texturing software of choice, there is a good chance they will say Substance Painter without hesitation, as it is a true powerhouse in this field, to the point where it often makes its competitors look insignificant in comparison. So today, I decided to put this claim to test by comparing it to one of its rivals. Of course, I'm talking about Quixel Mixer, a software that is reaching the level of Substance Painter in recent years. But is it good enough to take the spotlight? Well, let's see. First, let's address the elephant in the room and quickly introduce these two software. Substance Painter is the industry standard texturing painting software and it is known for being efficient for creating highly realistic textures, especially in VFX productions and the video game industry specifically. It was originally created by the French company called Algorithmic back in 2014. Following the success of Substance Designer, Painter quickly made a name for itself in the industry due to the demand of this type of software and the absence of alternatives at the time, except maybe Mari, to the point where it even caught the interest of the industry giant Adobe, which acquired it in 2019 to become a valuable addition to their impressive collection of software. As for Mixer, the story is a bit similar, to say the least, with the only difference that it was initially released by Quixel, a Sweden-based company, which quickly rose to popularity particularly after its acquisition by Epic Games, to become part of their longer strategy to improve their Unreal Engine ecosystem with high-end tools. The only notable difference is that it was originally designed as a tool for blending and mixing textures, which explains the name, but later, it repositioned itself as a software for creating textures for 3D models. So let's see now whether Quixel can challenge the leading 3D software in the industry. So let's start with the user interface. To be honest, I don't know how controversial what I'm gonna say is, but Quixel Mixer is more or less a clone of Substance Painter, at least when it comes to the interface. Let me explain. So, at first glance, both of them look like an Adobe product like Photoshop in terms of layout, and they easily communicate all the key elements of their interfaces. For starters, both of them offer a layer-based workflow, where layers can be stacked on top of each other. Let's consider, for example, a scenario of texturing an asset, where we add scratches in one layer and dust in another. The common thing here is that it is easy to edit them later on, or to mix them with the help of their blending options, or with the use of masking techniques, such as using what we call a grunge map, which is very common, or by manually painting in and out details with the help of brushes that can be anything and everything rather than relying on only one layer, which isn't practical if you ask me. Additionally, both offer a vast library of tools and brushes, and a side menu where we can adjust multiple elements, such as a brush and texture map settings, size, rotations, color picker, and various tools depending on the mode you're in, such as working on a masked or normal layer. So from the first glance, they appear pretty much the same. It's just that Substance Painter has more feature, such as a smudge tool to smooth any unwanted areas, in addition to filters like blurs and watercolors or particle brushes that can simulate, for example, a broken glass effect, or maybe rain, in addition to being a more advanced software. But why is that? Personally, I find Substance Painter to be better than Mixer, and let me explain. As a starting point, the two work through smart materials, and this can be thought of as a pre-made texture, which adapts and adjusts itself automatically to the provided 3D model. In Quixel, this can be manipulated in three ways. I know it may sound slightly complex, but let's do it anyways. Now, let me take a moment and tell you about CG Circuit. CG Circuit is an online platform for artists just like you. It has everything a 3D or a VFX artist can ever need and it is an ever-growing library of tutorials taught by industry experts from around the world and different kinds of assets, models, tools, and much more. But did you know that CG Circuit is also an awesome platform for creators? If you want to share your knowledge and make money while doing that, then CG Circuit is the place to be. It allows you to publish any art-related content and offers an amazing storefront with up to 69% revenue share. Not only that, 
their video player and account manager are jam-packed with features that will truly make your time spent on the platform extremely enjoyable for you as a user or a creator alike. Also, from the 21st to the 24th of November, CG Circuit is offering a massive 50% discount on all of their products. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and take advantage of this awesome deal and start using CG Circuit for free today. Now back to the video. First, it can be edited using the curvature component to add effects such as rust to the edges or more stylized, which can be adjusted. We can also use the normals component to dedicate the angle where we want the rust to be pointing at or by using a texture map such as imperfections or metal to base the effect on it. Now when it comes to Substance Painter, the difference is that we can do anything and everything we want. As an example, I find the Smite Materials mechanism in Painter to be far more advanced, because these effects are based on the textures that are baked from the 3D model inside the software, such as curvature of edges, in addition to the occlusion map, to add shadows to areas that catch a lot of it. For an extra example of realism and accuracy, we have dirt, as it is usually more collected in different areas compared to shadows, and normal maps that simulate and fake geometry using some magic tricks. On top of this, there are a lot of features that are based around these smart materials, such as generators and smart masks, that work in conjunction and in a similar way to smart materials to procedurally generate effects such as multiple types of dust, edgeware, gradient, among many other stuff. Or by using the legacy mask builder to generate the surface imperfections with the help of any image. And by the way, we can adjust all of these however we want by manipulating the levels of contrast values, changing the look by randomizing the seed, and switching the opacity and the dozens of other options and features that we can talk about in this video. Because they are classified, I mean because they are too many. So as we have seen, it is generally accepted that Substance is a better software. However, like anything else, it can be perfect at everything. And there are some areas, even in industry giants such as Painter, can defy Mixer, and here I'm talking about what it was originally designed for and it is creating custom texture map by stacking and combining them using different various blending modes like overlay and multiply, as well as parameters like roughness, height maps, and so on that Substance Painter can keep up with because it wasn't intended to be used for this purpose. Another advantage of Mixture is its integration with Quixel Megascans library, which is a collection of high quality scan textures and decals such as rocky terrains, wall cracks, streets, or anything else that can be used for free with Unreal Engine, making it a very important feature of this software. And we cannot overlook this, especially knowing that these mega scan libraries are used by a lot of major productions, such as the video games of Rockstar and specifically in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, in terms of pricing, Substance Painter follows a subscription-based model, and you can get it for a price of about $50 per month but this could change depending on your region. You can also buy a perpetual license on the current year's version on Steam for about $150. As for a quick sell, well, it doesn't have a price tag since it is completely for free. You can download it with Unreal Engine to start creating some cool stuff. On a side note, let me ask you a question. When was the last time you heard anything about Quixel Mixer? Well, if we look at the download section of their website, the most recent version we can find is the beta of the 2022 build, and not much about it has been heard ever since. I don't know if Epic Games decided to drop the software or not, but it's starting to seem to me it is slowly becoming forgotten to a certain extent. I investigated the matter a bit further, and I found out according to Quixel community support lead Jonathan Holmes, he said, Mixer won't be dead it will live on in a new form. I just cannot speculate publicly on what that form will be or what it will look like, but it should be coming back in a much stronger position. However, it is taking a long time before the update, so I don't know if the software is actually coming back or not. Substance Painter, in contrast, receives regular updates with a more dedicated community that uploads learning materials and assets such as Smart Materials Weekly and like Mixer, 
where most of the tutorials are from years ago, which makes learning it a bit difficult. But hopefully it gets back and creates more competition for Substance, so Adobe can find a reason to stop updating and developing Substance Painter. So, I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.